Fail, 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 dead. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3. And right there I had to adjust my sensitivity because I was all over the place. Well, I'm using somebody's uh, rent a server. Uh, it seems to be pretty much straightforward and to the point. Uh, the only rule was to have fun. I don't think there was a rule as much as it was a suggestion. Um... I didn't really start off having fun, so it, it was kind of a slow start for me. This isn't a whole match. This match was long as hell. I don't know whether it was set up that way, but it was, uh, this server is really good. And it, when it, it's that long, it allows you to really do a lot. Like, I got a lot of points off just, um, uh, reviving and killing people and, Reviving, mostly reviving. I didn't get that many kills. I, I did pretty good in, near the end. Once I pulled out the shoddy, the hottie shoddy. I like rolling with the medic uh, class, or whatever they call them in Battlefield. I like being a medic in Battlefield. I'll say, I'll say that because you can revive your team. The more you revive your team, the more, uh, the better chance you have of winning because you have a team that constantly is alive. And in war, I'm pretty sure that's like the the best thing, uh, one of the best things, staying alive. Unfortunately, it didn't work because we got stomped, but I did my part as a medic. Look at this. Boom! Revive, and then I get killed. So you should protect the medic because the medic keeps everybody alive. But anyway, uh, I'm parachuting now. Yeah, uh, I don't know how they set up the parachute thing. Uh, it was some sort of like a remote beacon, but I don't know how it got set up like that. I don't even know how to get a remote beacon. It's been a long day. Uh, I don't like that, but I deal with it. This game, actually, I had pretty good fun. I checked my scores right there. I had a really good time playing this game, but what I am waiting for next month is the close combat battlefield downloadable content dlc add-on map pack extravaganza extraordinaire awesomeness what that is basically i've seen only a video or two i haven't really um give me a dog tag i haven't really i haven't played the game but i plan on getting that downloadable content and what it looks like is that they took battlefield and they made it to where you're on a very small map and it's fast paced hard hitting always in a battle and that close quarters combat that's the whole theme for the downloadable content that's coming out next month now i like that and it works perfectly for me because i love battlefield i like this game a lot i like it better than uh call of duty for many reasons and some some of the things that call of duty does i like better than battlefield but when you get battlefield and you take away the the maps that are literally the size of a small country and you put everybody into a close combat situation from what i think it's going to be a lot better and it, because this game itself is really good it's a really good game i haven't played since the last major update and it's in it's really it it's improved a lot since the last time i've played it and it wasn't a bad game to start but you know now it's even better and then when you add the close quarters combat i think a lot of people who are hardcore call of duty fans will be enticed to try it out because you call of duty is more of a fast-paced and hard-hitting game unless you're a camping little whatever insert word um it's not really fast and hard-hitting if you just sit in one spot and hide but for most of the players that play the game you run around it's fast paced they have the the smaller maps dome and and a lot of the modern warfare 3 maps that originally came out with the game was smaller than normal so it was faster and the, the pace was always high and the action was always high so 
if you take that and you put that into a game like Battlefield, which already has good uh, weapons and sounds and all of that, then I believe that you have a very, very good, good addition to a game that's already great. I, I hope that they keep on with this same um, theme in the next battlefield of getting the the um, try to not completely get away from the big maps but try to incorporate more small maps to keep players um, interested in in the game that are used to playing and prefer having a faster and more action-packed match because I know I've played Rush and Conquest on those big-ass maps and I've literally just been like what the hell is going on why am I starting all why am I spawning all the way back here when the objective is all the way over there I don't know I don't play it enough to really understand but I, I like I said I can't wait until next month I'm gonna get that day that DLC uh, of course I'm gonna do a video on it I'd be stupid not to and then um yeah, I'm going to go from there, but this video is almost over. Like I said, we got shellacked, professionally shellacked. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out.